Hey everybody, I know, I know you're sick of the gyroscope videos and the spinning top videos, but I'm having fun with them. Hey, big announcements, got a new driver here we're looking at from NVIDIA, the latest release of the graphics driver. And we are looking at version 537.13, that's 537.13. And I'm just going to not go over my full settings, but just give you a rough idea of what some of them are within the graphics panel itself and in the game and so forth. Now, the game really hasn't changed much, but in the panel, the graphics panel, that's where we're at. Again, it's version 537.13. And as we got the game loading up, we'll look here at my virtual desktop. I just leave this as automatic for the most part here. And then in the in-game settings, that is mostly the same as it is in all my previous videos. And the gaming settings here I got, you can see I got game mode off. But if we go into the advanced graphics here, you'll see hags is on, variable refresh is on, but the optimizations is off. So... New version of the driver, 537.13, and if you notice, you may or may not be able to tell, but we're also on the second release of the beta for Sim Update 13. That's version 1.34.11.0. Last version I demoed was 134.10.0, so very minor. And the release notes are at the end of this video. There's screenshots with all the release notes for this latest uh, sim update, not world update, sim update. So we're here in the Pilotus PC-12, beautiful plane. I love this plane for testing out because it's a fairly complex cockpit as well as a fast moving plane, which means the scenery has to move fast and has to fill in fast to keep up with it. I mean, if you're flying something like, you know, the Curtis or, the, you know, one of these planes that top speed is maybe a hundred, you know, your graphics can be cranked up a bit because they got plenty of time to load. But when you're moving at 300, you got to kind of get your graphics in there quicker. So that's why I like to use this aircraft as a test. It's fast and it gives you some good, to me anyways, good indications of performance. Uh, right now, and we're look, and I, I'm not at my regular flight station, so I don't have my rudder pedals or anything. I'm just using one flight stick. I'm using my, my um, Velocity 1 and just twisting it right now for a rudder, which is really kind of weird after using your feet for so many years. But I wanted to just get this video out there just to let everyone know that there was a new graphics driver out there for NVIDIA that was just released within the last day or two, as well as the updated beta version for the latest sim update. And I'm going to just keep testing it out so that you guys won't have to worry about it and, you know, know whether or not that's something that's going to cause problems. Um, I can't say that the beta has given me any sort of a performance increase for frame rates, uh, graphics-wise. I mean, it seems to be playing very nicely. It seems to be going pretty smoothly. And without having done a whole lot of tweaks and still having a couple of things up on rather high settings right now, I think it's still performing pretty well. I'm going to go by the airport here and take a quick look at the uh, airport scene here. Going slow. I don't even have my trim set, so this isn't going to be the easiest low altitude flyby. But yeah, so you can see, we'll do a couple outside shots, a couple inside shots. We'll fly high, fly low. And uh, again, I'll just keep testing the new driver and the new sim update and let you know if anything is worth a note or worth staying away from. But so far, both of the last two drivers have performed very well for me. I've not had any issues whatsoever with any of the drivers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the skies.